Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that self-acceptance does not always translate to respect from others. Meaning, the more that we honor who we truly are, the more that we accept and embrace the things within us that we have made peace with and that we do have control over, it doesn't mean that the outside world is going to honor and respect you in the same light. I say this for a variety of reasons. What I recall early on my journey, that the more I would do things to receive validation from others, the more I did not like myself the more I was not comfortable with being with myself alone with my own thoughts. Because the more that I seek validation outside of me, the louder my critical inner voice was. And I mean, it was highly critical. I would beat myself up for so many of the most minute things. However, I will go back into the outside world and I will continue to seek validation. The thing about that is, the more I would seek validation from things and people outside of me, the emptier my cup within was. And if you don't believe that your cup can not only be empty, but in arrears, I'm talking negative, You'd be surprised because that's where the negative self talk comes in. That's where you go deeper and deeper into a a form of self hate. This it's not healthy. Not at all. So when you begin to take time to nurture your inner self, when you take time to really appreciate who you are, the differences that you display and express in this world outside of you, You come to not only a point of acceptance with yourself, but you'll begin to understand that what you deem to be good for you may not be as beneficial for others. It's similar to the old adage, what's good for the goose isn't good for the gander. And that's all right. Speaking from my own journey, I had to learn how to be okay with being perceived as an asshole. I had to be okay with being perceived as something that I'm not. Some people at times uh, have labeled me rude. Now, they don't confront me about these things. But they display it in the way that they approach me or deal, attempt to deal with me. This could be in communication. This could be an avoidance. Flat out ignoring me when I am speaking to them or when I am interacting with them. And I used to take that very personally. So much so that I would internalize other people's actions and I would beat myself up for how other people's perceived me. Hey, I'm here to remind you, it's pointless. Flip the script. Instead of validating their perceptions, validate your own. Understand what kind of person you truly are and allow that to unfold. And give yourself grace as you maneuver through that inner world. Because over time, you will truly, and it doesn't take long, but you will truly see how this world interacts with you and your intention. Meaning, if you set the intention to speak to yourself in a positive light, love yourself, embrace yourself, and you go out into the world and you express that love for yourself, some people will criticize you strictly because you love yourself. You're not going around smiling in everybody's faces. You're not going around to be the life of the party. You're not going around 
with the sole intention of pleasing the world. No. You're going out into the world with the intention of loving and pleasing yourself and not at the expense of others. You're going out into the world to experience your journey as you see fit. And as you do that, you realize that not only do you not need the validation of others, but you will soon realize that the reason that they may be critical of you is because they don't want to turn that mirror to the inside. They don't want to see themselves. It's easier to complain and point out all the negatives and problems of the world than to sit still with self and acknowledge what we can change. It's not a hypothetical thing. I've lived it. And others may see, others may agree, others may see it differently. That's fine. I'm simply here to share my perspective. But what allowed, what allowed me to change that perspective of myself and be okay with it was understanding that by simply trusting in what I knew to be correct on my journey. When I, when I truly embraced it and expressed myself from that understanding, Many things changed quickly in my life. I began to stand up for myself more. And I didn't allow myself to get enraged or get to a boiling point to where I lashed out. Nah. I simply said, hey, here's your intention for the day. If you have to interact with this environment, if you have to interact with this stranger, if you have to interact with this person that you've known for years, know why you're interacting with them before you do. Know the reasoning. And coming to that understanding along with them myself helped me realize that a majority of the time I would entertain environments of people that didn't serve me at all. I was simply doing it out of custom. For myself, that translated to I was moving foolishly. If I have no reason to be there, I will not be there. If I have no reason to interact, I will not interact. Now, for some, that does come off as arrogant. It comes off as rude. It comes off as being selfish. And to an extent, it is selfish. It's honestly speaking. However, it's a healthy form of selfishness. It's an understanding of I wake up. And I live for myself. Now I do, I do truly enjoy beautiful conversations, lovely interactions, nature. I, I love these things. I love a good book that teaches me something. The, these are things that I'm into and I'm okay with that. But there were periods in my life where I would allow others to shame me for those things that I like. And in wanting them to approve of the way that I live, I will make myself small. I would hide aspects of myself. No, I'm cool. At this point, I would, genu I would genuinely pass on that decision. I don't go out to be understood. I don't even share these stories so that anybody that hears these can say that I'm right. Now, nah, I want to remind you that the same way I found power and freedom within my inner world, you too can do the same. And what works for you will not work for others. But that's okay. That is simply okay. So find peace within yourself. Allow other judgments from other people to be exactly that. Other judgments from other people. As long as you do not internalize it or do the best you can to not internalize it, you're doing great. As long as you can witness certain treatments or certain communications and understand that it's not about you, it's about them, you on your way.
See, we'll never have a fully, fully paid. We'll never have all of the answers. But all we can do is find the proper answer for the next step. That's all we can do. I had a, I had a recent uh, interaction with somebody and the way that they approached me was as if I, uh, I owe them something. They spoke down to me in their tonality. And they didn't see nothing wrong with it because I, I know the person enough to see that that's how they maneuver through life. And anybody who challenges that, they get in an uproar. And the only way to calm that uproar down is to give them what they want. Squeaky wheel gets to grease. I began to learn that about not only this person, but many people of my past. And at some point, you just feed them more and more, or you say, man, to hell with this. So in this recent interaction, when I acknowledge the tonality of the uh, conversation, if you will, I simply acknowledged it. I don't care what your needs are. I, I do not care at all. Now, if you do need my assistance, I will offer this assistance to you, but it's because I choose to. It's not because I give a damn about what you want out of this world. It's not my job. And I say this because I have this kind of interaction with strangers sometimes as well, where they speak to me or others from a place of authority, from a place of I'm higher than you. I know better than you. And that's not okay, not for me. It's not to say I go out there and I attempt to check everybody in the world when they have a certain tonality about themselves. Not at all. Not at all. But if I know that we're going to be in a communication, if I know that we're going to be in the same environments, the same settings, well, we're not going to make it a habit of being disrespectful. Not going to do it. And now, as I get older along my journey, that becomes easier and easier. But when I was younger, it was not, <laughs> it was not the preferred choice because I wanted to avoid confrontation. It took years, it took years for me to grasp the idea that what I believe or what I perceive does matter. It does have some credence. And when I was able to accept that and embrace that idea of myself, I truly saw who was only around me because they knew that I would defer to them. And it doesn't take a lot. When you're around personalities that are used to running over others for whatever reasons, once they run into somebody who tells them, you have an attitude problem. Once, once they run into somebody who stops them in them, tra stops them in their tracks and doesn't allow them to get their way however they want to by any means necessary, eh, it might not spark them to change. Okay. Some of them just going to ignore you. That's what they're used to. Okay. Some of them going to think twice about how they approach you. Okay. And frankly, some just won't give a damn. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. You see, when you do these things or when you express your way, your uh, belief in a certain way, it's not about how it's received or how people respond or react to it. No, it's about trusting who you know yourself to be. It's about trusting in your intentions. It's about trusting in the perspective that you have and having that kind of self-love and self-respect for yourself. And the only outcome you desire is the ability to speak up for yourself. Anything else is a bonus or not. But trust in who you are. Know that it's not about having a smooth journey. However, 
You must trust in yourself, believe yourself, love yourself, and understand that just because you have that relationship with yourself doesn't mean everyone's going to appreciate it. And by all means, that's okay. Until next time, be blessed. And most importantly, please don't forget to smile.